Good morning, guys and gals. So it's, it's Friday. Must be like August the 19th or something. Damn. I don't really know. I know the 23rd is next Wednesday, 2017. So I'm going to ride and I got the Mavic ready. Probably can't see the. Yeah, you can maybe see the little chips where I crashed into the tree. It just went into a tree at 20 kilometers an hour. Holy shit! It just went, it went, it went savage, man. Artificial intelligence just went rank. This is a tough little bird. Battery's charged, battery's charged. Another battery in here is charged. The controller's in there. You gotta check everything over. Always check, make sure you got a card in here. Every camera's gotta be checked for cards. Nothing shittier than getting out there and having forgot to put the memory card into the camera. So we got the eye on today, always. Not the best footage in the world, but motorcycle cams don't take the best footage. I don't care what you got. When you're moving, you, you get what you get. Use the Nikon when I stop and use this thing. I think I'm going to go to set it to 2.7 today instead of 4K. And then, of course, I always have Prism. I really like Prism. It takes pretty good pictures and uh, no wires. I've got some glitches, but it's been a couple of years now and still using that. So that's how we get started. Now you got to get dressed and everything. This is filming solo. Sometimes I have my wife with me, but she's indisposed today. She's beautiful whether she's disposed or indisposed, but she's indisposed today. So let's move on to the next stage and load this crap up. Yeah, I've been following that for 35 years. Amen to that. We're not taking the little Honda today. We're going to take the DL650, about an hour northwest Alaska Highway. You'll see the Otter Falls cut off. Great place for burger and fries. Don't keep going to Haines Junction, make a right. Make a right and go follow the dirt road, good signage. Heading up towards Ajax Lake. Camp ground up here, 30K. Typical Yukon gravel road. Can be a little dicey in places, a lot of washboard. But, you know, very camper, mobile home friendly. It was a beautiful day. And you'll see the sign, it's just like 30K bang. And the falls are in the background. They, uh, they look something like this. That ledge there was a 20 foot rock off the water, kind of where I took off from. I backed in a little bit. I've been flying the Mavic, you know, as much as I can, but honestly, you know, flying over water, I've done a few, you know, low passes on lakes and things, and I've had a couple crashes. So, so I, after you have a couple crashes, it, I don't know, I can't say it, it uh, the exuberance is somewhat slightly dampened just because of a degree of caution, you, the realization that this thing is not. Um, capable of going 100% free especially if you're gonna fly like this in the trees in the water and uh, land on metal things these falls are featured on the 1954 series five dollar Canadian bill back when money was paper you could eat it and rip it and burn it and do whatever But it looks different. Today it's got the dam way up above. Apparently they've tunneled under here. I, there's a lot of reading on this. It's quite an interesting little place. It's excluded that it is. I was an hour and a half back in here by myself. I saw one person. One. That's, I think, uh, that's a lake in the background. Is that Canyon Lake? There's so many, just so much water in the Yukon. We, we, are, we are blessed when it comes to water. Whoa. You like fishing? So finally I decided to bring the little Mavic down and bring her home. Didn't get as much footage as I wanted, but I got some. And no issues. Sparky listened really well today. Uh, thanks for coming out. Appreciate that. So today's travel series was on Otter Falls, Yukon Territory. Hour and a half from town, probably if you count the gravel stretch. Great place to camp. Good little campground out there. A beautiful area. Very secluded. This was middle of August. I'm uh, actually editing now uh, September 1st today. 
a lot of this green foliage has got the orange, light orange glisten to it already as the fall colors come in. We're going to get some good footage here in the next couple weeks. Yeah, Sparky listened really well. Drone's working well. Just really got to, you know, learn about it. Glenn and Sophia. Telling Sparky what to do here. Uh, she doesn't always listen. But finally decided to land. So thanks again for coming out. Uh, we'll see where we go next time. Wild Bulls Garage, signing off over and out.